Hiya, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey, episode 5. Um, fifth week down the road and I still haven't turned um, a great deal towards becoming a full-time turner. Um, so, I will next week. I said that last week, but yeah, I will next week get on and actually turn something. Thank you very much for all of your comments and your feedback and your Google Plus Ones and social shares this week for last week's Turner's Journey. The um, Hampshire Sheen giveaway giveaway video that I posted on Monday and also the turning, uh, the finishing and um, the finishing and sanding video that I did on uh, Wednesday. Thank you for all of those. It's really great to hear that um, some people have found the found the finishing and sanding video useful and thanks also for your entries into the Hampshire Sheen giveaway the winners of which well the wizen the winners of whom one or the other I will announce at the end of this video now the cherry bowl the cherry bowl last week weighed 1651 grams this week it weighs 1615 which is a difference of 36 grams um, it hasn't moved still. Um, it may have moved a teeny tiny bit, but certainly nothing that uh, that I can detect. And the little check mark in there uh, hasn't moved either, which is awesome. Uh, now, uh, in the workshop, as you can probably see, it's an absolute state, um, and it's an absolute state because the new lathe I've borrowed here doesn't fit where I wanted it to go in the center section here. So um, I've had to move the pen lathe from this station to the center station um, and rejig this um, uh, this station here um, and I've, I've had to do well I basically had to rebuild the two lathe stations because I noticed with the other lathe state the original lathe station I had to lean quite a long way over the lathe to pick up a new tool or get some wax or something. So the benches are now ooh, a good nine inches shorter than they were, six to nine inches narrower than they were, so I can just stand here and grab what I need. And one thing that really, really bugged me with um, lathe stations was the fact that when you're turning, a lot of the shavings go underneath the bench um, and underneath the lathe, which is a bit of a pain. To, for sweeping out and, and stuff like that. So this one is built in. It's tucked, the, the, the stand itself is tucked underneath the bench a little bit. The bench itself um, is about five mil lower than the banjo. So everything moves across here nice and smoothly. Um, there's a little skirt that goes down onto this secondary bench down here and also down there and down the end as well. So all the shavings are going to end up on this side of the bench, which is which is great. Now the pen lathe, the pen lathe here um, is going to eventually have a drawer in under here um, and some cupboards under there as well and, and built in. So again, all of the um, all of the shavings and stuff for this side of the bench. Uh, I need also to figure out um, an extraction method for here. Um, I want to build a. I want to build kind of like a an extraction hood, as it were. So when when I've got a piece, a largish piece on piece piece bleh, piece here, the hood will come up to about here-ish, something like that. Um, so the piece can turn. I can I can cut it and, uh, uh, and and sand it, and everything will just disappear off um, into the extractor. And the same for the pen lathe. Um, and the everything is going to be sucked up over the roof, or not over the roof, but through the rafters in the garage here, down to the extractor fan that's going to be outside. Now the old lathe. Um, the really, really noisy one that you heard uh, in the sanding and finishing video and pretty much every other video I've posted um, for the last few months. That is over here, facing that way, um, and it's been relegated to being a sanding wheel. 
but I need to uh, finish faffing around with that as well. Um, now, I, obviously, I want to have everything as, as close to me um, as possible, so I'm not going to be putting up loads and loads of shelves here or little shelves here for the moment. Um, I, I'm going to put a tool rack in, but as I go along, I'm going to think, right, it would be good to have a finish there so I can actually build the station as I go. Um, right. Um, I've completely forgotten what I've actually been talking about. Um, I can't remember if I've mentioned bowl blanks, um, but I cut some bowl blanks on Sunday um, that are over there. I cut some hazel and beech. Uh, I, I said I, last week I also said that I would be doing a video. No, I didn't. I said I would show you the chainsaw jig that I built, but I didn't. Um, I didn't have time to build um, a chainsaw um, a chainsaw jig for um, helping me cut bowl blanks and stuff. So that's going to have to wait as well. Now let's move on to Hampshire Sheen. The the labels, um, the sticky labels arrived this week as well as the hundred milliliter pots. Um, so I've designed a um, a label. There it is. There's um, there's the top of the pot, and then on the back I've put the um, application instructions um, as well. Now inside here are all of, or are all of the entries into the giveaway uh, 24 of you in here which is um, which is great so thank you very much indeed if you entered um, I will draw the winners in a moment and um, everybody who entered will receive a discount code um, just as just to say thank you very much um, the first pots of the hundred mil um, the hundred mil me measurement will be going on sale. Um, probably Tuesday next week, maybe Wednesday, so you'll be able to use your discount code on there. And also, everybody that has subscribed to my newsletter off the website will be able to um, get a discount as well, because I'll email you all a um, a, a, um, a voucher code too. Um, and speaking of newsletters and stuff, Turner's Rest, the newspaper that I started publishing next week, edition two of that is going to be out this weekend on Sunday morning. That's been received really, really well so far. I'm really happy with that. Um, I think I've got 60-odd registered subscribers, and it's been read three, 400 times, something like that. It's really good. Now, let's do the draw. I'm going to use the cherry bowl. And then put everybody in. I said... In, on the on the um, the giveaway post, I said that I would give away um, a 50 milliliter pot to the three most worthy comments. Well, I had so many great comments, I couldn't decide who to give it to. I, I couldn't, I just couldn't decide because every, everybody's like, "Yeah, I really love the finish. I think it would look great to try it out on the the." the items that I'm preparing for Christmas and stuff, but I couldn't decide. So, in the interest of fairness, everybody who entered is in here, all 24 of you, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes, keep mixing them up, so you, so for, the, for fairness as well, I can't see what I'm doing, and the first winner is... Declan McCrosslin. Declan McCrosslin, well done. You have won one of the 50 milliliter pots of Hampshire Sheen. Thank you very much. Next one will be... Hilary Williams. Hilary, well done. You have won yourself the second pot of Hampshire Sheen. And then last, but by no means least... Ian Maud, well done Ian, you have won the third pot of Hampshire Sheen, well done. Thanks once again for um, entering everybody, as I said I will send everybody a um, special discount code so, so you can get some money off one of the 100 milliliter pots um, next week um, or whenever. Um, and also everybody that has subscribed to the newsletter too, you'll also be receiving um, a discount code as well. 
that's going to be it for today, I think. Um, yep, that's it for today. I've run out of um, I've run out of notes of things that I need to say. Sorry, it's been a bit random and a little bit hectic, but as you can see, I've got an awful lot to do in the workshop. Uh, today because the kids are coming again this weekend which is fab um, and also oh yeah I forgot um, I've got to go to um, a, um, a community wood fair tomorrow um, being Saturday the 5th of September I've got to go to a community wood fair um, which is down near Southampton somewhere um, if I remember I'll put a, a, um, a link or some information to it in the description um, yeah I completely forgotten but I don't need to worry about making anything um, stock wise because I sold virtually nothing at Letley Marsh so all of that stock is still in the conservatory um, packed up waiting to be loaded in and sold so yeah tomorrow if you are around Southampton um, come along to the community wood fair it's at Zion Park I think see I can't even re remember where it is um, yeah so pop along it'll be great to see you um, leave comments and any feedback and whatever and thank you very much indeed for watching um, Turner's Journey episode 5 I will see you again next week for probably a little overview of the new lathe um, how it performs and stuff like that and I will of course see you for Turner's Journey episode 6 thanks very much bye for now